Hello everyone, I'm here with my friend Di Carrington and she's going to tell us all about her temperature blanket. So Di, tell us, what is a temperature blanket? Right, well it's, um, it's a lovely record of a whole year's temperatures. Each day represents one te the temperature that day, so starting in January all the way up to December in 2021. And you crocheted a line a day? Yep, that's right. Yep. And each day's thread was chosen based on the temperature and here yeah. is your key. That's right. Yes, three degrees for each colour. Okay. And so you crocheted a row a day? Yeah, one row a day, every day. The whole year. And what did you notice as you made this blanket? Well, I was aware how slow it was to warm up. So we've got the um, the equinoxes and solstices marked here, but it took ages last year to warm up. Yeah, there's a lot of white in there. There's a lot of white at the beginning of last year, and we also had some days of snow, whereas this year we haven't had any snow. I've, I've shown the snow with Moab. So that's the fluffy stuff. That's the, fluffy the fluffy stuff is the snow. Yeah. Right, okay. But my mum also told me that um, the full moon, the weather would change. So I put the full moons in to show where they were. So the buttons are the full moons. Yeah. And what did you notice? Well, look at this one. There's a full moon and there's a big difference in change of oh, temperatures yeah. here. Isn't it? Um, another one up here, full moon, where it went from being cold, uh, sorry, to, from being warm to cold. Mm. And, and quite a change here at that one. Yeah. Wow. Mm. And you would never have noticed that. No. Had you not no. taken this 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 discipline. Yeah. You've got an objective reality here, but I can see some little threads sticking out the side. Yeah. Well, What's this? <laughs> I, I had to make a note of where the equinox and solstices were. So the mm -hmm. winter and summer solstice. Mm -hmm. And the equinoxes, and that's where you sewed these. Uh, that's where I sewed these, sewed these on, yeah, yeah was that. to show the length of daylight. Mm -hmm. And then this one was a bit of fun. It's where we went camping in May, and it was still quite cold. Mm. Had we left it another week, we'd have had a warmer week. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I like it that it's like a calendar, and then you've put your own life events into it. Yeah. If you were to do this again, Di. What, how, how could you change it? How could you develop this idea? Well, there's so many things you could put in, but I think if I was to, well, I've done, I'm doing another one this year, but if I was to go back and improve this one, I would have put the snowdrops and little mark when, of white when the snowdrops were in flower, and then the same for daffodils, mm. and then the same for bluebells. Mm. And maybe when the cuckoo came, mm. and maybe the other odd migratory bird. Yeah, so you could sew extra buttons on or put extra details yeah. onto this. Yeah, it would just show any seasonal changes and representations. What did it mean for you doing this every day, Di? It was a very lovely mindfulness thing to do. It gave me something to look forward to doing. I love doing this kind of thing, all from scraps. I was focused on looking for the temperature every day and looking at the, as, as it warmed up, it was like, oh, it's warming up, oh, it's cooling down. Yeah, it was really, really nice. It's a very mindfulness exercise. Well, thank you very much. I'm sure you've inspired lots of other people. I hope so.